What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. And yes, we have a special, special, special unboxing. Boom, we have it here. Another Nike box. And trust me, it is a banger. And one thing I'm gonna tell y'all now, man, which I've been super aggravated about is FedEx, bruh. Like, please, if you if somebody buys something from you, do not ship it through FedEx. It's always something with them, bro. Like if you if you buy through FedEx, just something. Got this off of eBay, man. So a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. But the seller had 100% feedback, showed a lot of good pictures. Um, so I'm just hoping what's in here is what I paid for. So I'm gonna open this up. You see, it came in a Nike box. So hopefully, it's exactly, exactly, exactly what I want. Come on, man, I'm geeked. I'm geeked up, man, geeked up. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so it looks like here's the receipt. That doesn't mean it's legit quite yet. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Get that out of here. We don't need that today. Boom. Yes, sir. Three, Bob. Come on, man. I get what I want, man, when I want it, man. Sheesh. Let's go ahead and read this box label, bro. Air Jordan 5 Retro SP. Colorway on this joint is black and fire, red, muslin, nor, muslin, root, and robe. F-E-U. Size 10 and a half, personal hair. Uh, retail was 225. I didn't pay 225. I got hit, I got clapped. But not for too much, man. Basically like double what the price was. But boom, here you go. Here's that. Just so y'all can see this, um, I did a legit check already. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Johnny's pair right here. This is the size 12. So off rip is looking pretty good. This is the actual um, box label right there. Why is it not focusing? Here's the box label right here for the size 12. Is the box label for the size 10 and a half right there. So similar, similar, similar off rip. Biggest thing you notice also as well. Boxes are similar. Back up a little bit. Size 12 right here, size 10 and a half here. Two hole, one hole right here, one hole right here, one hole right here, one hole right there. Flip this up. Yes, yes, yes. Here's one of the shoes. Here's the left shoe right here. Boom. Air Jordan 5 off white, AKA black metallic. Here's the left shoe on that joint right there. Here's the left shoe on the size 12. Yeah, Johnny already switched out the colors. Um, I like the white. I just don't like how you put the actual whole thing right there, but this is the one with the Hold to the left right here. Hold to the left right here. Air Jordan behind the tag. Make sure y'all can see that. Air Jordan behind the tag. Hopefully I can flip it out, but Air Jordan behind the tag. Um, both of them. This is what, the left side? Okay, so the low. Yeah, man, these definitely, I think these already wanted to legit. I'm just going over it again, but made in China tag right here. On a size 12. Made in China tag right here on a size 10 and a half. These things look crazy in a size 10 and a half. <laughs> bro, I'm super geek, bro. I'm mad. I, I supposed to have these yesterday, bro. I, I needed my shit yesterday. Here's the right shoe on a 10 and a half right here. You got your uh, shoelace bags right here. Size 12 in my right hand right here. This has the badge right there. Size 10 and a half in my hand right here. 100% bro, let me see. Look at these bags real quick, match them up. Bag sizes are identical. Yeah, bag sizes are identical. Nothing like real small or tight. They are attached in the top left side. So definitely, definitely, definitely. Again, it's the 10 and a half. This is how the back looks right here on the 10 and a half. 
Keep that joint focused. This is how the bat look on the half to the bottom. That's the biggest key. Let's see, I want to make sure both of those reds look on point. Let's see, both reds. Let's see. Both reds look on point on the bottom. These joints are legit, bro. I ain't even impressed. Look at that. Both of these joints are on point. Again, 10 and a half left hand, 12 in the right hand. Super fire, super fire, super flame. You already know the bottom right there. Doing a quick legit check with y'all, man, before I get into the details of how to be a smart sneakerhead. That was the big key of this video. Just to show y'all that I can get these for a reasonable price without going broke. That's the big thing. Yeah, we get the off-whites. Yeah, we get the Travis Scotts. Yeah, we spend some money, but sometimes you have to play it smart. You gotta use your brain, man. Use your head, but you gotta be smart with this. Same thing like last time when I try to open it up. You see how this little thing is stuck in there? Same thing with this one on my size 10 and a half, like when I did with Johnny's the first time. You have your quality control stamp right there. And then you have your other stamp right here as well. Just like in the size 12. Size 12 has your stamp right there. Hopefully I can see that. This quality control sticker is in the box, the bottom of the box. So it's in there, quality control sticker. Everything looks on point. Here's the paper, C2 paper from the size 12. Here's the C2 paper from the size 10 and a half. Right here, you got the Jordan Jumpman paper right there. Super fire, super fire. Man, these joints are legit, bro. I'm, I gotta keep checking though, you gotta be safe. I already believe that these are 100% legit. After doing the review with Johnny's size 12, no red flags, no red flags. Now, right now, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and scan this QR code, boom. So let's see, let's hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully it focuses. So you see you have to scan that, it has that right there. I'm gonna press that right there, boom. Oh, hold my thing now. And this is where it takes you to, enable location. That's where it should take you when you scan the box. The 10 and a half on this box is good, decent right there. Um, production dates, that's what I wanna really, 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 really see. So production dates on this joint is 8-21 through 12-3-19. 8-21 through 11-19. So a little month off, but same thing, same thing. Gotta start doing a look. Like I say, gotta go through those checks. Green light, baby, green light. Here's the actual insole. Insole. Make sure these are the same. Yeah, thick. They're both thick on that, so y'all can see that right there. Here's the insole. This is for the size 12 right here. Hopefully that focuses. And this is the size 10 and a half right here. Bottom of the foot area should look like this. Same as it does on the size 12. Insole right here, size 10 and a half. Pull this insole out of the 10 and the 12. All right. Feels the same. Looks the same. Let's see. It is. This is the 12 up top. This is the 10 and a half on the bottom. So, y'all tell me y'all see any differences. Let me know. Let me know. I don't see any difference. But here's the back. Show you the back. How the back looks. So like I showed y'all before, hopefully y'all can see that. You see, it should be a little blue stamp. You see that blue stamp in there, right there? It's in there as well, so that's dope. And I have the, the little threads taped down in here, just like it would have been on this one. So this one has a little bit more room in it. Let's see, But you see right there, stamp, and then your stitching's right there. They go mine just to show it again. Let me make sure I'm gonna check this right shoe. Make sure the tags that make sure to always make sure the tags are matching. Always make sure the tags are matching. A21, 19, 12, 3, 19. A lot of people that sell those fakes, man, they be swapping out the shoes. So they have one left real one and one right fake, or one right real and one left fake. But these are A1 state sauce, man. The guy really held up to his end of the bargain. Bro even sent the box that the shoes came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that these joints are 100% legit boys, man. Off-white writing just to be safe, man. I know y'all, y'all want me to just be triple, 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 triple safe, man. This is the writing right here. 
and here's the writing on mine. Boom. So here's the writing right there on mine, size 10 and a half, and here's the writing right here on the size 12. So let me just double check that. Jordan 5, Oregon, Ooh, Nike. Everything looks decent, man. I'm gonna triple check them and everything like that, but everything is all, all green flags. No red flags, green flags. And all the fakes I saw were terrible fakes. I don't know if it's because of the whole virus thing going on over in China. Uh, that they haven't been producing uh, multiple fakes of those but they either come in uh the fakes come in a regular uh jordan box without the jordan 5 box without the holes in it um the shoelaces aren't attached like they are to this one right here they're not attached on it um they have another fake that comes in a black and gold jordan box um and the other one just looks very, like, very, very, very fake. You can tell it's fake. Like, this one doesn't have any bumps or bruises or any creases. It's very tight. Stitching is very good. Yeah, man. Gucci, 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 Miller Flair. Got his own. It should be able to see, like, this little area glowing in the dark. Like, the eyelids, they glow. So, boom, let's see. That glows. That glows. This little area here glows a little bit. And not like a glow in the dark, but it just kind of, like, you can see... And it does like look like some type of dripping or some type of, I don't know what type of stain is it from glue or something. It is all over the bottom. So hopefully y'all can see that. Let's see if it focuses in. So you see that right there? It's right in that area. And then the 23 does light up right in there with the UV light. So back up a little bit. So it does glow as well. Biggest thing to know is with this specific um, pick up for me. I did not spend a whole bunch on resale at all. Um, resale right now is about 800, 850 to 900. Now, this is how you be a smart sneakerhead. Me, I had the black non-reflective Yeezys, had the zebra Yeezys, and I had the gym red Jordan ones. Now, as far as, as far as math, I got 630 for both of the Yeezys. And I got one, about 140 for the gym reds. Total that 630 plus 140, that's what, 770? Yep, 770. I paid seven, like 780 total. But remember, retail on the Yeezys is 235, 235. And then hundred dollars, I got those gym reds for hundred dollars. Gotta be smart, be a smart sneakerhead. So that's a total of 235, 470, 570 with hundred dollars, and I put like 20 bucks with it. So total came off these was 599. 599 for this pair, man. 599 for this pair, man. 599 dollars. That's way below resale for the two for three shoes all together. 599, right? I sold those and made a profit of $7.70. And I got these for $5.99 after all the balance. So when I say this, man, about being a smart sneakerhead, buy shoes that you know are gonna have resale value. Again, we don't go broke for sneakers around here. We be smart, be smart, be smart, be smart. Buy shoes that are hyped up that you can use for trade bait or you can sell for more later. I made profit to be able to buy what I want and I got exactly what I wanted. Don't be afraid to buy off of eBay, man. Don't be afraid to be up to buy off of eBay. Just make sure if you're gonna buy off of eBay, buy from trusted sellers. Make sure you have another authentic pair to legit check your shoes. This is definitely a good move, man. I'm glad I was able to get these at that price. Again, I didn't pay the full $7.90, $7.90 that I would have paid straightly through eBay after buying three pairs of shoes that I paid a total of $5.74, I was able to buy these for $7.90. Y'all do the math. That was $220 that was made from selling those three pairs of shoes to get this one pair of shoes. And well worth it. As far as resale, um, it's going up, man. I bought these at $7.60 now. Some places they're $8.50, $900. Some people don't even ask for $1,000. So, I'm glad I pulled the trigger right in time and got these from the guy. Be smart about your shopping, man. Don't go broke for sneakers, man. You know the model over here. Thank y'all for watching, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell. The future belongs to those who prepare today. 
I'm out.